Well, we've all heard of police dogs, canines, bomb sniffing dogs, dogs that look for narcotics. But what about insect sniffing dogs? The State Department of Agriculture launching a new canine program to look for a specific invasive beetle. It's a story that's new at 10. Cody Morden and Lab Mix Bravo are no ordinary man and man's best friend. You ready, Bravo? Bravo is on a mission. Let's go. Find it. He loves people, and he loves to work, and he loves treats. So in order for him to get the treats, he's got to find the larvae. You heard that right. He's training to look for coconut rhinoceros beetle breeding grounds. Oh, good boy, Bravo! The coconut rhinoceros beetle, it's a beetle that largely spends most of its time in green waste, but when uh, it's an adult, it will go in and feed on basically any kind of palm. And that feeding is what's killing trees. So the Department of Agriculture is trying to eradicate these beetles with the help of Bravo and Ryder. Ryder, what's that? Yes, good boy. We're only training agriculture to dogs, or we're training dogs to find specific invasive species. So, for example, this dog is trained to find only the coconut rhinoceros beetle larvae. In an open training field like this, the dog's impeccable sense of smell is able to distinguish the rhinoceros beetle larvae from the dozens of other odors inside this bucket. Yes, good boy. So when they respond to that box, they're getting a treat, and they're also getting a lot of praise. It's like, oh, good boy, oh, good girl. Or, you know, they're they're getting. They're getting that. That's what they desire. Very good. So cool, Bravo. Come on. And the handlers are training too. Target. Yeah. Good boy. He will have his head up and catch the scent in the wind. And then he like turned around really quick and went straight to target and he sits. The dog's ability to quickly hunt down the beetle could be the key to saving Hawaii's iconic trees. So what we're anticipating is they're going to be refining our ability to detect and creating a lot more efficiencies in my programs. Find it. Make no mistake, it's hard work, but the dogs enjoy it. For the dog, this is like a this is fun. This is a mission. Yeah. They're they're out hunting and they're hunting and they're getting rewarded for finding the beetle. <laughs> and the humans, they enjoy it too. Oh, this guy, he makes me not afraid of Mondays. Oh yeah! That's the one. Good boy. So good. Now, the beetles could be in your own backyard. So here's what you can look out for. V-shaped damage to the trees. The larvae of these beetles are about three inches long, and you're looking for a large black beetle with a horn. If you think you may have a breeding ground or see any coconut rhinoceros beetles in your yard, call 643-PEST.